do something we call social media check-in. All right, what do we got? All right. Okay, awesome. Uh, this is from a VIP Brad Squad member, Bright Akpan, uh, saying, has anyone changed from joint I-751 to a waiver while waiting for an interview appointment letter? Yes. Reggie Murphy, another Brad Squad VIP member, how long does it take for an I-130 to get approved? Depends who's sponsoring you. If it's your brother and sister, it's going to be 10 years or five years. If it's your U.S. citizen spouse, hopefully less than a year. Okay, Jennifer Garza, another VIP Brad Squad member, saying, I'm going through a divorce I do not want, uh, but I have reason to believe that my husband entered the marriage only for the green card. He went and got an attorney to start separation. I did make a report, but didn't go to the interview. I love him and his 10-year-old son, who I sponsored as well. As an attorney, wouldn't you try to get them to reconcile for the case with immigration? Not, uh, not necessarily. If you have the two-year green card and you're going from a two to a ten, you don't. As an attorney, maybe as a marriage counselor, as a pastor, as as a concerned citizen who wants to bring people to be in love with each other, yes. But as an attorney who understands law. Not necessarily, because if you have a two-year green card uh, and you can prove it was a bona fide marriage and you just don't love the person anymore, you can get a divorce and complete the case on your own. Eddie Tristan on YouTube, my case is being actively reviewed by USCIS. What does that mean? Because I still have a request for evidence to submit until January 2021. It means they haven't updated their computer system and better, better respond to that RFE. Tofik Muhammad on YouTube, I'm a natural citizen of the USA. I have a biological daughter who is eight years old in Ethiopia. Uh, is it possible for uh, to apply for a passport and citizenship in the U.S. Embassy in Ethiopia? Yes, as long as you can prove that you were living in the United States for five years prior to her birth after your age of 14 and that you're a U.S. citizen when your child was born, not you became a U.S. citizen after, but at the time of the birth eight years ago, you were a U.S. citizen. Uh, the answer is yes, she's a U.S. citizen. Go apply directly uh, at the U.S. Embassy. Buwan Kumar on YouTube, could you explain about my, uh, can you explain about I-130? My case reached NBC and was qualified. It's been four months and I didn't get an interview date. Why? COVID. Trump. Trump and COVID. Both for those reasons. Celio Bay uh, or Ba on YouTube, what can you do if you don't get your Social Security card, even if you filed your family-based green card at the same time? Well, Social Security. I, I mean, I, I don't. You would. Why are you qualified for a Social Security card unless you have a green card or a work permit? Which I didn't hear in that question. I know you on YouTube. Why was USCIS not taking application fees up to three weeks now? COVID, Trump. Trump, COVID, yo-yo. Blessing Odin on YouTube. I submitted my I-751 application at the end of October. When am I likely to get a response extension letter from USCIS? The same questions all the time. Uh, and by the way, you know, and I'm saying I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. It just seems to be every problem with everybody now that immigration's not responding in a timely manner. Trump and COVID, COVID and Trump. But hopefully your I-751 is extended in 90 days. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.